What happens when one person denies the place of another? Because that's really what's going on. You don't have a place in the world. You don't have a place in the world. Well, by the mere fact that we're born, we obviously do have a place, all of us. And yet one human being can attempt to take away the place of another, not give them a place. And what happens is that for that person who's doing that, the question is raised as to their place. So seemingly easy to deny another person their place in the world, but when we do so, we call in question our own validity, the validity of our place, the worthwhileness of our life. By our very act, we deny our own place as we think we're going to deny the place of another. Where are the people who have the eyes to look upon another and see the wonder of what's there and to move past whatever limitations the person might be experience, experiencing and express their faith and love in that person. No, they need to regain faith in themselves and they do that because you place your faith in them. You invest your faith in another person. And how few people there are who know the wonder of that, the gift that they have to give by investing their faith in another person. I believe without that quality, among some people anyway, we're pretty much sunk as humanity because otherwise we end up reacting to all the limitations that are present in the people around us and the people in the world. And, as far as I can tell, that goes no place. No place. Absolutely no place. A liberated man or a liberated woman goes to where they're called to go. Not because there are people following them there, but because they're called to go there. We all have a natural right to go where we want to go.